This is a revision series, a revision of the four poems, Form 4 and Form 5 poems. The Living Photograph, The Charge of the Light Brigade, What Has Happened to Lulu, and The Poison Tree. Let me introduce to you the four teachers. These teachers will walk us through the four poems, refreshing our memories and to guide us in answering some of the important questions that will help us in our SPM. The first teacher, Miss Alice, then Mr. Henry, followed by Miss Cherry and Mr. Ken. The first poem, The Living Photograph by Jackie K. In SPM or during SPM, please remember to read through the poem. You may know the poem by heart, but it is very important for you to read the poem through to refresh your memory and to guide you in answering the questions. Let us read through. The Living Photograph My small grandmother is tall there. Straight back, white broadery, angler's shirt. Pleated skirt, flat shoes, grey bun. A kind old smile round her eyes. Her big hand holds mine. White hand in black hand. Her sharp blue eyes look her own death in the eye. It was true after all, that look. My tall grandmother became small. Her back round and hunched. Her soup forgot to boil. She went to the awful place grandmother's go. Somewhere unknown, unthinkable. But there she is still in the photo with me at three. Crinkle smile is still living, breathing, Jackie K. Let me ask you, what are the two tenses being used here? Yes, present tense and past tense. What are the two stanzas that have present tense? Yes, stanza 1 and stanza 3. What does this show us? Persona remembers her grandmother very well. It looks like her grandmother is still alive. It is very fresh in her memory of how her grandmother was. The past tense is used in the second stanza. Now the persona is actually describing to us when her grandmother was old. She became small, her back round and hunched, her soup forgot to boil. And this stanza actually tells us that her grandmother has actually passed on because she went on to describe. She went to the awful place grandmother's go, somewhere unknown and so childlike but so intense. Okay? Are you okay? Are you fine with this? Keep this in mind. Let's move on. To do the summary of the poem, it is very important to attempt this task because this will help us to have a better grasp of the entire poem. It will bring your scattered thoughts into a focal point of grandma, how she was at the time when she was young and at the time when she was old. It is very important for you to pause the YouTube and attempt this task. After you have attempted the summary task, let us now do exercise 1. 
Question one: Which word in the poem tells us that grandmother is alive? Number two: What tense is used to tell you that grandmother is alive? Three: Why is the poem called the living photograph? Pause the tutorial. Attempt the questions before you move on. Yes, we will now do exercise two on stanza one or first stanza. Look at the questions. Number one, my small grandmother is tall there. What are the two contrasting words here? Number two, from these two contrasting words, describe grandmother's physique. Three, her sharp blue eyes look her own death in the eye. Describe grandmother's character here. The time to attempt exercise two. Pause your YouTube and do it. Exercise three. Exercise three is on second stanza. Read through the second stanza before you attempt the questions. Here are the questions. Number one, in this ten second stanza, the tense is. Two, why is this tense used? Three, how does the persona remember her grandmother? Use your own words. Please do not copy if. The question asks you to use your own words. If the phrase "use your own words" is not there, then you can copy the sentences from the stanza. Number four, the persona describes the place that grandmother went as unthinkable. Which word in this stanza has the same meaning as unthinkable? Give two other words that can describe unthinkable in the poem. Give two other words. That means these two words must be from your own, not from the stanza. Okay, good. Let's move on to exercise four. Third stanza. But there she is still in the photo with me at three. The crinkled smile is still living, breathing. The persona is now a adult and adult. But when she looks at the photograph, she feels that she has gone back in time because grandmother is still living, breathing. Grandmother is still alive, so fresh in her memory, very very fresh. That means, to the persona, the grandmother is still alive. And what tense is being used here? Present tense. Number one. Why is this third stanza written in present tense? And number two, in your opinion, do you think it is good to take photos? Why? Pause the YouTube. Answer the questions. Exercise five. Her soup forgot to boil. Question one, ah,、uh, her soup forgot to boil. A. Give a word that describe grandmother here. Maybe you can ask somebody, or maybe you know the answer, or you can look up, look out a word from a dictionary. B. Give the name of a sickness that makes one loses the mind. Question one is an extra knowledge for you. Look at question two. What is the feeling of the persona when she looks 
at the photograph of her grandmother. Three. Why does grandmother look tall in the photograph? Four. Find sentences in the stanzas to describe the grandmother in the table. By now, you should be able to have a clear understanding of the entire poem, and you will have no problem answering the SPM questions on living photograph. Here are the answers. Bear in mind, please. Your answers may not be the same as here, but the idea is still there. Do not think that if you do not write the way the answer is given here, you are wrong. No, your answer is written in your own words. Just that the idea must be that it must be the same. Exercise three and exercise four. The answers are here. You can check them out. Exercise five. Yes. Look at question one. A. Forgetful. B. Alzheimer disease. Well, you can choose to write forgetful using another word. To replace forgetful, it is fine, as long as it has the same meaning. And that is all for the living photograph. All the best in your exam. Bye.